learn poi butterflies. Now what comes next? Drex here from Drex Factor Poi sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today we're gonna dive into what comes next when you get down the poi butterfly, one of my favorite beginner moves. Before we dive in though, I wanna give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a special thanks to the first non-business friend of the channel, Johnny Howard. Thanks so much for your support, Johnny. So we've all been there. We have taken the time to learn a new poi trick. Sometimes it takes hours, sometimes it takes days, weeks, or even months. But either which way, we've put so much effort into learning this poi trick. And when we get it down, we feel really good. But at the same time, we look around at all those other poi tricks out there and we're just like, oh no, do I really want to do that to myself again? But here's the thing. Once you learn a new trick, it's almost certain that there are several other variations on that trick that are out there that don't require nearly as much time and effort to learn. It is a way of making that effort go just a little bit forward, and that is the purpose of this series. It's not quite a tutorial, it's not a combo, it's what comes next. And this video comes as a request from Aurora Ellis, who, after I did my video on Thread the Needle about a month ago, uh, requested that I go back even further and do an entire video on butterflies. So here you go. Butterflies, of course, are simply just moving the poi in together opposites with our hands more or less sticking together. Usually, one hand is slightly more on top or in front of the other one, so that we can slightly have the planes of the poi a little off from each other to make sure they don't collide at the top and the bottom. Bottom. Butterflies are almost always both the first wall plane trick that people learn as well as the first together opposites poi trick that people learn. So they occupy a very, very special place at the root of so many other things for many, many people out there. So let's see how we can make these tricks go just a little bit further. So first up, purely as a matter of utility, once you've gotten to the point where you can keep the poi stable as they go in opposite directions, you should really learn how to turn with them. So the first trick on this list is going to be butterfly reels. I usually teach people reels is the first poi trick that they ever do, usually in together same. Now, I actually went quite a while before I learned how to do reels in together opposite instead. And doing this frees up so much movement because all of a sudden now you can move around and turn with your butterflies and switch which side of the body that they happen to be on. They also kind of just have a nice groovy bounce to them. I see many people using these reels as kind of a dance step, whether with pirouettes or a chanet step. And there's no wrong answer here. They just wind up being really good to dance with. And of course, they're good practice. You're gonna need to learn how to do reels in every timing and direction, and I would say that doing them in together opposite is about as close to the simplicity of doing them in together same as you can possibly get. Definitely put these on your to-do list. Next up, if you have learned the butterfly in together opposites, there's no reason not to learn it in split time opposites, doing a split time butterfly. This is probably the least intuitive timing and direction mode for poi, but it's also one of the most useful. I personally think that a lot of tricks that happen in split time opposites look really, really exotic and cool. And quite frankly, learning how to get down a split time butterfly is the first step towards getting them down. The best comparison I can make here is that they kind of feel like doing double dutch jump roping in some ways. Um, it should also be said that you wind up learning a lot about moving the orientation of the poi relative to each other in order to make both a together opposite butterfly as well as a split time butterfly work. This is really important information that your body's gonna need for a long time to come. Of course, the split time butterfly is also a great move for doing all kinds of dance moves too. There's something that feels a little polyrhythmic about it, but nonetheless, moving around with it feels really satisfying. Check this one out. All right, now before I give you my final pick for what comes next once you learn the poi butterfly, I have a modest request. If you've come this far, it probably means that you're into poi. Learning poi, learning poi tricks, guess what? I make lots of videos on these topics and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel so you can see each of those videos right when they come out. It also helps my channel grow and it helps other people find the content that I'm making. So if you could give me a subscription, a subscribe, ring the bell, what have you, I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you have suggestions for tricks that I can cover in the What Comes Next series, I'd love to hear them. Drop me a comment and let me know. Most of the topics of these videos come from requests from viewers just like yourself. And and now my final pick for what comes next once you learn how to do the butterfly 
I mean, yeah, let's be real, it's the thread the needle. Yeah, we've kind of come full circle here. After all, the thread the needle video was what inspired this request, but really when it comes down to it, learning how to do a butterfly sets you up for a lot of the same information that you're gonna need in order to do a thread the needle. Because really all a thread the needle is, is you're doing a butterfly, but you're switching which hand is on top each beat of it. You also learn really, really useful stuff, such as how to do really subtle plane bending to go back and forth in terms of which hand is on top and which hand is on bottom. Uh, I did a video on that recently that I will go ahead and link to in the cards as well as down in the, in the description. But also too, just thread the needle feels really satisfying to me in a lot of ways. So I highly recommend that everybody picks it up. And fortunately, the same techniques that you use to learn butterfly will usually help you out with thread the needle here too. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and link to a tutorial that I've done on both tricks because the thread the needle really is a very, very short walk from what you already know how to do with a butterfly. Definitely check that out. So those were my three picks for what comes next after you learn the poi butterfly. Did I mention your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind support of these amazing folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. If you like Poi content, tutorials, vlogs, and yes, what comes next, then I've got good news for you. I want to make more of them. I want to bring Poi spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies through Poi. So please help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. There you can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus some great extras and behind the scenes content as well. So go and check that out. Please and thank you. What tricks did you learn right after the poi butterfly? I'm really curious about this. Leave me a comment and let me know. Did this inspire you to learn more wall plane tricks? More tricks in together opposites? I'm really curious. In the meantime, I'm going to leave a link to a playlist of other What Comes Next videos down in the description, as well as linking to it up on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get out and flow this weekend, and I will see you with a new video on Monday. Peace.